So these chickens are about six weeks old now. They're doing pretty well. Um, haven't had any problems. I've been moving them out twice a day. They're still eating like crazy and drinking a lot. They're getting big and we have about four more weeks left with them. After you're done with the seed bags, what do you do with them? We've been saving these bags all last year and I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do with them. We saved most of our bags for our feed from our chickens from last year and we continue to save them because I thought we need to do something with these. Like I just want to throw these bags away. They're perfectly good recyclable bags. I saw how this type of garden, how they were doing it. They were putting similar material on the rows in the walkways. So I thought that's what I'll use them for. In order to do these rows, you need wood chips. Got Bernice. You want Bernice to have it? Yeah. Okay, so put put Bernice down. Where did he go? Oh, there, there's his head peeking up over the top there. Okay. Now I'm just gonna cut these bags in half to spread them out long ways. already seeing that I'm not gonna have enough bags for all these rows but it's a start let's see where this takes us so the idea is to cover the paper with mulch or if you're using like regular paper, such as like craft paper or um, painter's paper that you can get like at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, the paper along with the wood chips will act as a barrier for the weeds. Eventually the paper will break down and it'll just turn into mulch, which will be just a benefit for the soil as it continues to break down and mix in with the rest of the soil. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. I don't think I have enough bags for all 14 rows. And I don't think I have enough wood chips. But I'm gonna see how far I can get with all the wood I have. But that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you guys next time.